Anguito. President, please be seated. Bonjour, madame Unsitani, um, je m'appelle Antagissé, je suis co-avocat international de M. Kiosampan, et c'est à ce titre que je vais vous poser de très brèves questions de clarification par rapport à votre déposition devant cette chambre. Ma première question a trait à la durée de votre présence sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. Dans votre déclaration E3-4790, à l'URN en français 00967272, 05, ERN en anglais, 00949413901 en Khmer, 00582091. Vous avez indiqué, si j'ai bien compris, que vous avez commencé à travailler sur le barrage en décembre 1976 et ce jusqu'en juin 1977. Est-ce que c'est bien ça Answer, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Toujours dans euh, cette And même déclaration, vous avez euh, uh, évoqué trois périodes uh, différentes avec des horaires de travail uh, différents. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez uh, de ça that, en expliquant que uh, vous, uh, you, en tout cas le premier mois, le travail uh, sur le barrage, vous aviez des horaires différents de ceux qui se sont poursuivis par la suite. Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez Oui, c'est exact. First, uh, I was working on that side. Au début, je travaillais de ce côté. And I had to work. Start, I had to start work at 5 a.m. And when I was asked to go to work on another location, Ensuite, which was far away from where we were sleeping, I had to wake up early in the morning and travel to work. Pour euh, être parfaitement In exact, je vais citer votre déclaration. Le RN en français, le 00967207. Le RN en Khmer et le 00582094. Et le RN, euh, et ça se poursuit sur... Euh, la page suivante et le RN en anglais et le 00940141. Voilà ce que vous dites à propos de ces horaires sur le début, enfin ce premier mois. À 5 heures, on donnait des coups de sifflet. À 5h30, nous partions au chantier pour transporter de la terre à Palanche. À 11h, nous reposions et reprenions le travail à 14h. Nous travaillions jusqu'à 17h, voire 18h. Nous nous couchions à 20h. Nous étions autorisés à faire une pause de 10 minutes à 9h du matin pour faire nos besoins et une autre pause de 10 minutes à 15h. Fin de citation. Est-ce que euh, ça vous rappelle, ça vous rafraîchit la mémoire et ça vous rappelle effectivement ce que vous avez indiqué sur les horaires que vous aviez sur le premier mois de travail sur le barrage I was working close to the pagoda. What you described was the uh, working hours at that place. Et parlé des de 
So the work site at the bank today was close to where we were sleeping. Était près de l'endroit où nous vivions. Ma question était de savoir si My vous confirmez bien was, que les horaires que je viens de vous citer correspondent bien à cette période-là. C'est bien ça. Oui, effectivement. Après, vous avez un toujours dans cette même déclaration, euh, ce sont les mêmes références en Khmer et en français, et en anglais, non, en Khmer, pardon, en français et en anglais, et en Khmer, c'est euh, 0058 Donc vous indiquez que vous avez changé de lieu d'affectation, effectivement, en février, et vous indiquez que, effectivement, euh, en février, à partir de février, les conditions de travail sont devenues plus dures et que vous avez commencé à 3 heures du matin, avec les horaires que vous nous avez indiqués tout à l'heure à l'audience. Vous dites ensuite, ça c'est aux pages suivantes, donc ERN en français, 00967208, ERN en anglais, 00940142. ERN en Khmer, 00580095. Voilà ce que vous dites en précisant qu'il y a eu un moment, un changement. Je cite, « Lorsqu'il faisait encore sombre à 5 heures, le départ était reporté à 5h30. Nous travaillons de 5h30 jusqu'à 11h sans pause. Nous nous remettions au travail tantôt à 13h, tantôt à 14h et nous finissions à 17h. Nous reprenions le travail à 18h et devions finir à 22h avant de pouvoir rentrer à notre abri. Fin de citation. Ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que ça vous rafraîchit la mémoire et est-ce que vous vous souvenez que Lorsqu'il y a eu une période plus sombre, il y a eu à nouveau un décalage dans euh, le moment du réveil. When we worked in a far area, we had to wake up very early in the morning. If we overslept, uh, we could not go in time. The whistle would be blown at 3 a.m. And later, our, the whistle uh, would be blown at 4 a.m. Because if it was blown at 3 a.m. and we uh, went to our workplace after that time, it was too early. Si nous étions partis And tout de suite, nous serions arrivés trop tôt. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup de sifflet, qui donnait l'ordre de partir. Et le troisième coup de sifflet, il y avait un troisième coup que vous avez signé et donné dans le cadre de cette procédure, je cite, « Lorsqu'il faisait encore sombre à 5 heures, le départ était reporté à 5h30. » Fin de citation, ma question est de savoir, est-ce que vous vous souvenez avoir dit cela Est-ce que ça correspond effectivement à ce qui s'est passé, à savoir que lorsqu'il faisait encore sombre, le départ était retardé C'est ça ma question. I think I said 4 a.m., not 4:30. Donc là, vous êtes en train de dire que il y a une erreur dans la déclaration, c'est ça? Answer. I gave that statement long time ago. 
fait cette déclaration il y a longtemps. Hold on, Madame le président Pardy, you may not proceed. International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I, I don't know if the, this is an issue of there being difference in how this document was translated into French. Uh, in English, um, the preceding paragraph talks about the time the whistle was blown for them to wake up. This paragraph talks about the time they started work. Um, council is equating the two. I don't. Uh, in English, there are different. She's talking about different anglais, things. I don't know whether it's a problem in how it was translated into si French, but I think the record should, should reflect that. En français. In French. Um, C'est bien écrit. Uh, Il n'y a pas de problème sur. Il n'y a pas d'histoire de sifflet sur cette partie que je viens no uh, uh, the, de lire. Lorsqu'il faisait encore sombre low, à 5, à 5 heures, le départ était reporté à 5h30. Ma question porte sur le départ. Donc je demande si c'est bien à 5h30 que so le départ était reporté. Was, uh, Please hold on, Le Madi, you may not proceed. And, and, and that's the reason for my parole. objection is that the, I, I can't tell you what the Khmer says. I can tell you in English it doesn't say, say that they left at 5.30. It says that was the start time if, where they would start work. So they'd have to be at the work site by either 5 or 5.30, depending on the time of year. Je demande à mon I'm going to ask my colleague to check this. Um, en Khmer, et je vais Check poursuivre sur une de questionnement et je reviendrai sur ce point un petit peu to another line of questioning and I'll get back to this later. Uh, Mon confrère me confirme qu'en Khmer, il y a bien écrit 5h30. Donc, je finis so, sur ce, cette ligne de questionnement, madame. En Khmer, uh, a priori, il n'y a pas de difficulté. Uh, vous auriez indiqué no que le départ était reporté à 5h30. Est-ce que vous confirmez ce point, oui ou non Is that the case or not And, uh, when we were working close to the pagoda, we started work at 5.30. But later, we, our workstation was far from our sleeping quarter, so we had to go to work at 4 a.m. That's what I stated. And during that time, it was too dark at 4 a.m., so uh, we were asked and told to go to work at 4.30 a.m. instead. Sur un autre point, Regarding um, another point um, ce matin, vous this avez, morning, je pense, été interrogé par I believe, uh, mon confrère uh, de l'équipe de Nunchea, vous avez indiqué que vous n'avez euh, jamais entendu d'annonce avant l'utilisation d'explosifs pour euh, casser la roche. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition Vous n'avez pas entendu de parler aux parleurs euh, des annonces avant l'utilisation d'explosifs no announcement il n'y a pas eu d'annonce over the loudspeaker and we were not told to step back when explosive was used de nous reculer lorsque l'on utilisait des Some explosifs worker was sleeping and you know taking a rest Des and when they heard the explosion dormir, they reposer, would uh, uh, run for shelter vous venez euh, d'indiquer que on vous a dit de vous reculer lorsqu'il y avait euh, il y avoir de l'utilisation d'explosifs qui explosives. vous disait de reculer exactement Answer. No one told us. We realized and heard the explosion. And 
Only when we heard the explosion or when we saw the fires Lorsque nous avons vu, vu at la the explosion area, uh, we would run. Nous avons couru. Some people were hit by the uh, fragments of the rock. Je vous pose des questions sur ce sujet, I'm madame, parce que nous avons entendu deux témoins avant vous. Le premier, Pexoka, c'était à l'audience du 21 mai 2015, et il était interrogé sur une déposition, une déclaration qu'il avait donnée avant, et voilà ce qu'il disait dans sa déclaration, c'est un petit peu euh, avant, enfin après, 11h29 et 32 secondes, dans sa déclaration, il disait, j'ai entendu par haut-parleur qu'on a déclaré aux compatriotes de faire attention parce qu'on devait se servir des explosifs afin d'extraire des pierres. Fin de citation. Et voilà la question qui lui est posée. Est-ce que ce genre de message de sécurité était fréquent sur le chantier par les haut-parleurs voilà ce qu'il répond, oui, à chaque fois, avant qu'il y ait une, une explosion, une annonce était faite par haut-parleur. Est-ce que ça vous rafraîchit la mémoire ou pas du tout Qui est cet individuel dans mon area I have Never heard of any broadcast over the loudspeaker. I mean, Là où j'étais, je n'ai jamais district. entendu parler de, ou faire cette, ce genre d'annonce par haut-parleur. Je parle du district de Barai. Et un uh, autre témoin, uh, witness, uh, Madame uh, Milieho, Milieho, à l'audience du 26 mai 2015, dit. May 2015, après, entre, euh, said, un petit peu après 14h24 et 36 secondes. In 24 minutes. La question qui lui est posée un petit peu avant 14h26 est la suivante. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez au moment où il devait y avoir l'utilisation d'explosifs, qu'il y avait des messages de sécurité diffusés par haut-parleur pour prévenir les travailleurs Sa réponse est la suivante. Oui, lorsque des explosifs étaient utilisés pour briser la roche, les ouvriers devaient s'éloigner. Il fallait leur interdire de s'approcher pour éviter qu'ils ne soient atteints par des fragments de roche. Fin de citation. Elle poursuit un petit peu plus loin en disant « je, je les ai simplement vus chasser les gens de cet endroit ». La question suivante lui est posée « chasser les gens de quel endroit ?» Et là, elle répond, il chassait les gens de l'endroit où des explosifs étaient employés pour briser la roche. Ils éloignaient les gens pour éviter qu'ils ne soient frappés par des rochers, des cailloux. Une fois que les explosifs avaient été utilisés, les ouvriers pouvaient reprendre leur travail. Fin de citation. Ma question est donc la suivante. Si vous n'avez pas entendu... Did uh, not hear les messages de sécurité par un haut-parleur, est-ce que vous auriez été témoin à un moment ou à un autre du fait que on éloignait les gens uh, de la zone d'utilisation des explosifs Answer. For my group, I could see that uh, the, they uh, burned the explosive and when we saw that uh, we would uh, go away, there was no broadcast or announcement concerning explosive was used. Personne ne nous prévenait que des, euh, des explosifs allaient être utilisés. Vous venez de dire, pour ce qui concerne mon groupe, est-ce que il est exact de dire que, dans ces conditions, vous ne savez pas exactement ce qui se passait dans les autres unités
Je ne sais pas ce qu'il en était des autres unités ni des autres groupes. In my group Tout ce que in je sais, c'est ce qui concernait mon groupe du district de Bahai. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Mr. Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Vous pouvez m'en arrêter là et mon confrère non plus. Je vais stop here and avec my Madame colleague de la also has no further questions, Merci. so I think we can stop. Le président, Madame Hon the Chamber has told you already that at the end of your testimony, you can make a victim impact statement. And concerning the crimes which are alleged against two accused, and harm inflicted upon en you during the democracy Cambodia de resulting in your civil party application to claim collective and moral reparations for physical, et, material or mental injuries as direct consequences of those crimes. Pour les you may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Civil party. À la partie civile. The injuries which was inflicted upon me was that I used to live in a happy life with my family. Ma vie était heureuse au sein de ma When famille avant que les blessures ne me soient ainsi infligées. Into power, Lorsque le régime a pris le pouvoir, everything. nous avons tout perdu. We lost what we had in the previous time. Nous avons I lost perdu ce que nous house, avions auparavant. J'ai perdu ma maison, and property. mes biens. I lost my parents, J'ai perdu siblings. mes parents, mes frères et sœurs. I live alone. J'ai vécu seul. I lost everything, as I said. I dit, underwent uh, sufferings. Beaucoup souffert. I am so lonely, and for those who Je me sens si seul. are so lonely as me, they understand my Les qui situation. Se they, que moi some people who do not understand my situation, they may say what's the point of giving your statement. The bad experience seems to be news to me when I think of uh, what happened. Mais je me sens tellement mal lorsque je repense à ce qui s'est passé. I have learned now the bad experience at and sufferings in my life. Subi Why I had to go through this bad experience? Ai-je dû endurer tout cela? How those people control and lead their countries? Pourquoi ces gens ont-ils ainsi dirigé leur pays et leur peuple? on my people? Do you know uh, the difficulty they have mère. experienced? Avez-vous une idée des difficultés qu'il a rencontrées?
we used to have our own property and belongings to use, but Nous now we, some of us, lost almost everything. You can imagine nous, how difficult our life is at the moment. Vous imaginez bien combien, combien notre vie est difficile à l'heure actuelle. I am so terrified. I have PTSD Je suis and trauma. Je suis traumatisé. I lived my life with no freedom and rights in that vécu period. Toute ma vie à cette époque sans liberté, sans droit. I would like to tell the court that Je veux dire à la chambre I do not want the recurrence of uh, this regime que again. Que je ne souhaite pas que ce genre de régime se reproduise. I have suffered much in my life. Nothing can compare. Souffert au cours de ma I vie. am trying my best Mes to live sont sans égal. my life at the moment. De vivre au mieux the innocents who were working very hard were killed. Les innocentes qui travaillaient très dur ont été tuées. They were killed because of words came out of their mouths. Elles If they committed wrongdoings, they would be taken away. Si elles commettaient quelque faute que ce soit, elles étaient emmenées. Persecutions happen on them. Ces personnes ont été persécutées. What was the point of living their lives? They were persecuted. À quoi leur servait-il de vivre? Elles étaient persécutées. People experience a separation from. Families, les gens ont été séparés were separated de leur famille. Les parents ont été séparés de leurs enfants. What was the situation? Uh, what was the society in that period? Comment était la société à cette époque? What's <laughs> up here? If you realize what happened in that period, please si vous prenez do not let such things happen again in the society. <coughs>
ขยมสมจิสมนูบานได้ป้อง I have a few questions Am I allowed, Mr. President? Have you any questions? I have the right to ask, Mr. President. President, yes, you can. Have a few questions, but it has to. They, the question needs to go through the president of the chamber. You may not proceed. Civil party. I would like to ask my question as follows. Are you responsible for the killing of a human being? Des exécutions de ces êtres humains. And how could you be responsible for persecution and killings of victims in your period? Do you recognize and admit your mistakes? Et admettez-vous que vous avez commis là des erreurs? Do you admit your acts? At that, in that period. These are the questions I have for them. President, the Chamber wishes to inform Madame Hun Sotani that after ascertaining the position of both accused on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the rights to remain silent, the Chamber notes that the two accused maintain their express positions unless and until such time as the chamber is expressly informed otherwise by the co-accused or their counsels. It is therefore incumbent upon them to inform the chamber in a timely and efficient manner should the accused resolve to waive the rights to remain silent and be willing to respond to the questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the proceedings. As of today, the Chamber is not informed that the co-accused have changed their express position and does agree to provide their responses to questions. President, the Chamber is grateful of your presence, time, and testimony, Madame Hun Sutani, during the last two days, as well as the, the expression of your suffering and harms inflicted upon you during the Democratic Cambodia regime. Your testimony is now concluded, and you are no longer required to be present in the courtroom. And the Chamber with you, with you, accept journey back home, and all the very best to you. And court officer, please assist the civil party to make necessary transportation arrangement in collaboration with the WISU for her to return to her residence. And the Chamber, once again, thank you, Madame TPRO staff. However, you are still required to uh, be present in order to assist the next civil party, that is to TCCP 230. And court officer, please usher the civil party into the courtroom.
President, good afternoon, Madame Civil Party. What is your name? Civil Party. My name is Onron. President, thank you, Madame Onron. And when were you born? I was born on the 24th April 1953. President, thank you. And Madame Undron, where were you born? Answer, I was born at Darien village, by commune, Kampung Swai district, Kampung Thom province. Question, and where is your current address? Answer, it is still at the same place that is in Darien village, by commune. Question, what is your current occupation? Answer, I am a rice farmer. Question, what are the names of Question. your parents? Quels sont les noms de vos parents? Toi Nieng is my father and Chai Li is my mother. Chai Li pour ma mère. Question, and what is your Question. husband's name and Quel how many children do you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Lan Wuti is my husband. Mon mari s'appelle Lan Wuti. Question, and how many children Question. do you have? Answer, we have two Réponse. children. Deux. President, uh, Madame Unron, towards the end of your testimony, as a civil party, you will be, you will be given an opportunity to make a victim's impact statement concerning the crimes which are alleged to happen, and that will happen to, towards the end of your testimony, if you wish to do so. And pursuant to Rule 91 base of the ECCC in the rules, the Chamber hands the floor first to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties. And the combined time for the lead co-lawyers and the co-prosecutors are two sessions. You may proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je cède la Thank parole you, à ma consoeur, Maître Sovanari Mok. I'll give the floor to my colleague, Mrs. Sovanari Mok. President, yes. Uh, the President, chamber allows that, and oui. uh, lawyer for civil parties, you may proceed. Lawyer, Mr. thank you, Mr. Le President. Merci. Good afternoon, Mr. President, your honors, and good afternoon, Madame Civil Party Unron. I have some Bonjour. questions for you, and if my questions are unclear or you do not understand, please uh, let me know so I can reformulated. Can you first tell the court where were you on 17 April 1975? Answer, I was living in Kampung Thum province with my uncle. Then we were Ensuite, Evacuated to uh, Tang Rasang, and later on we were returned back to Tariem village. Et nous au village de Tariem. Question: While you were living in Tariem village, Question, village de Tariem, were you assigned into any uh, group or a unit? Vous a-t-on affecté à un groupe ou à une unité particulière? Answer. At that time, at the village, uh, no group or unit uh, were established yet. I worked in the rice field in the Moi, village with my family, dans la rizière, and I did not go to work elsewhere. Et je nulle part ailleurs. Question. 
question. After you work in a rice field, uh, transplanting rice seedlings or pull out rice seedlings, what else were you assigned Après to do? Après votre travail dans les rizières à transplanter ou repiquer du riz, que vous a-t-on demandé de faire Answer. I was assigned to a sector mobile unit at Kdai Sain Pagoda. Je suis allé à la pagode de Kdai Sain Pagoda où on m'avait demandé And de travailler dans une I unité mobile. I worked there for a period of time which I cannot recall exactly. Then I temps. was uh, transpl- I was assigned to transplant the Et rice ensuite, seedlings. On m'a demandé de repiquer du riz. And during the flooding season pendant la saison we pluies, could not worked in a rice field uh, anymore, Comme on ne plus we dans were les rizières, sent to Sanson Pagoda to rest there for a while. Later on, I was assigned to work ensuite, at the first Tindury Dam work site. Sur le site de du du and while I was working at the uh, Kadaisa and Pagoda, et as we could no longer pull out rice seedlings due to the flood I was sent in a big unit to the first January Dam work site and we were transported by a vehicle, but due to the, the thickness of the forest, the Comme la vehicle forêt could not uh, dense, go through, then we had to carry our bag and uh, be on foot. Nos we arrived at around 5 to 6 p.m. and we rested there without any proper shelter. Next day, we were instructed to clear the forest and it took us about two months to completely clear the forest. Then units were divided. And uh, Ensuite, some groups were divided within the unit and, uh, ma- and land plots were measured and assigned to members of the groups and the unit uh, respectively. Questioned. And allow me to stop you here uh, before I put questions to you in relation to the first January dam work site. And before you were sent to the dam work site, you said that you were assigned to the a sector mobile unit. And you said that your big unit was further subdivided into smaller units. Can you tell the court the total number of members in the big uh, mobile unit and what was the name of that unit chief? Answer. The big unit constituted, constituted of uh, 100 Réponse. members, then it was uh, subdivided into three small units comprising of 30 members each. Chong was chief of the big unit, était le chef de la grande unité. and Qing and Sun were chiefs. Était chef. Uh, 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 allow me to uh, apologize, it was uh, Nai and Qing who were chiefs of the uh, small units. Question. A while ago, you said your sector mobile unit was assigned to work at the first century dam work site. And who actually made that assignment to your unit? Answer. I did not know who uh, made that assignment. The only thing I know that we were told by our unit chief that we had to pack our belonging and place it in a backpack and we had to travel to work at the first January dam work site. Question. Could you refuse not to go? Avez-vous le droit de refuser de partir? Answer no. We Réponse, could not, non. and of course we dare not challenge Nous that pas. instruction. Nous pas it simply meant we had to go. Instruction. Cela voulait tout simplement dire qu'il fallait que nous y allions. Question. When you were assigned to work at the first 
Generate the unblock site. Can you record the exact date? And if not, what season was it when you were assigned to work there? Answer. I know that we left. They signed when the uh, rice was already ripe, but we did not uh, harvest it yet. Mais nous pas then we worked at the first January dam work site Ensuite, nous avons until sur le site the flat arrived janvier, and we could no longer work there. Then we were assigned to return. And as for the date of the month, venir. I cannot recall it. Je ne me souviens plus ni du mois ni de la date. Question. Question. So your mobile group arrived at a location where Donc, votre group shelters were built and you were allowed to rest. Can you tell us the, uh, the number of the, the shelters? And how far were those sleeping quarter away from the work site? Answer. The, the shelters where we rested were about 500 to 600 meters from uh, the actual dam work site. The building, the, the shelters were made of a wood and the floor, the sleeping floor, was made of uh, wood as well, and some of us had mats to sleep on, while others did not. So sometimes we we found a piece of cloth to to lay down and uh, slept on, and it was a long building, the building that I slept in, and we slept in two rows, feet to feet, and there was a footpath in between. Question. Already built upon your arrival. And what was the roof made of? Was it leaking when it rained? Answer. It made uh, out of leaves. There were no walls. And when it rained, the, the rain dropped, wood uh, came, would come through, and then our heads uh, would be wet. Since there were no walls on the side of the building. Question: When you and your other colleagues. Uh, were resting in that building, Lorsque were vous you provided with, say, a mosquito net? Une Answer, Réponse. there was no mosquito net, there was uh, no blanket. Il y avait pas I myself uh, only had an old scarf. And it was not large enough uh, to cover my body. Question. You said uh, that area was uh, a thick forest that Vous the vehicle could not go through. That's why you had to uh, be on foot. Les so can you tell us were there a lot of um, mosquitoes at night or uh, insects? Si de ou la nuit. Answer. Réponse. There were mosquitoes, but uh, we were Il told to, mais to pile up the leaves and burn, burn it in order to chase away or to keep the mosquitoes away. Les moustiques. 
ou en tout cas les tenir à distance. Question. And while you were working at Question. the Denmark website, vous sur le site did you de work travail? at only uh, one location? Or were you relocated to endroit, work at various uh, sites uh, within the dam construction site? Au sein du site de construction du barrage. Answer. We worked Réponse. only at one location, Nous ne although un it was moving away further and further as the work progressed, I mean further away from our sleeping quarter. Question. And during the time that you worked at the first Century Dam work site, you were assigned to work uh, from one ceci. location and progressively it kept moving away from your sleeping quarter. And you also said that uh, there was big rain resulted in flood and you could no longer work and were uh, sent uh, to the village. How far did you, your, the work progress upon a time that you could no longer work due to flood? Quel était le stade des travaux au moment où il n'était plus possible de travailler Our et nous answer, nous avons Our big uh, mobile réponse. unit started working uh, from near where we uh, slept and we stopped when the work progressed for about one kilometer uh, long. So when the water rose and we could uh, no longer work, we were assigned to return and work at uh, Greysang and then at Balang. Question. Let me uh, return to the first century dam work site. Je reviens au site du what kind of work there was assigned to you and what was the uh, work uh, ration and who actually made that assignment? Qui Answer. De it was the uh, big unit chief who chef de la grande unité qui divided the land plot given to the uh, small unit chiefs and then the small mobile chiefs would assign to the members and we were assigned a plot of four cubic meters to, to complete and we would take turns to dig the ground and to carry the earth. And if we could not complete the work quota, then the food ration would be deprived. For that reason, we tried our best. Nous nous de faire and notre that mieux. was even worse uh, during the uh, rainy season as the slope was slippery and sometimes we had to make a, a, a makeshift ladder in order to walk out the embankment of the dam. Une sorte pour pouvoir sortir et remonter sur les berges du barrage. Question. When you were Question. asked uh, to dig the ground, what was Lorsque the uh, land or the soil condition? Le was it purely a soil or dirt, or was it also a mixture sol, of a soil and a rock? Answer. So, no, it was uh, purely dirt. Uh, there was no rock. No, it was simply dirt. There was no rock. Question. Question. Regarding uh, working hours, can you tell the chamber the working hours? That is, uh, when the whistle was blown to uh, awaken you, and when uh, you started actual work, and when you uh, rested, and was there any work to be done at night? Answer. Réponse. At five. Actually, at 4.30 in 
the morning. Of course, this is just uh, an estimate as we did not have a watch or a clock to look at. At that time, a rooster uh, sang and a uh, whistle was blown, so we woke up, was our first, and by dawn we walked. So actually, after a uh, whistle was blown, we would uh, queue up, and then there was a head count. Then we would go to the work site and started working until 11 when we rested for gruel. Then we had to return to the sleeping quarter uh, to eat the gruel. And my, my group was the last to, to arrive. And then we resumed working again and continued until 5.30 in the afternoon and we ate the gruel again. Uh, if there was a meeting, that is a livelihood meeting, we would attend the, the meeting. And at night time we were assigned each a true cubic meter of work to a complete. And if we could not complete the work quota si of the two cubic meter. In the morning, we had to be aware that we had to start working early in order to complete the remaining uh, work and to start the new work quota again. And if we fail to reach the work quota, we would be criticized. Si and if there is the case, then we usually would uh, wake another, another one or our colleagues up and started working cas, by ourselves at 4 o'clock in the morning. Question. When the rooster sang, a whistle was blown, you lined up, there was a head count, and then you went to uh, the work site. Did you have to start working immediately, or was there a set hour that you had to uh, commence uh, working at the work site? Vous commenciez le travail. Answer. Réponse. If we arrived at the work site a bit early and if we start is si it was still rather early, we had to wait a little bit until we could peu, see one another clearly before we started the working. President, thank you, lawyer for civil parties. Le président, merci beaucoup, the madame l'avocate. Today, the hearing uh, has come to an adjournment, and we will adjourn now and resume tomorrow, that is Thursday, 28 May 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, the chamber will continue to hear the remainder testimony of the civil party Unron. And uh, Madame Unron, the chamber would like to thank you for your testimony. However, it is not yet concluded. Thus, you are invited to return to uh, this chamber again tomorrow to continue your testimony. Court officer, please assist the civil party in collaboration with Wisu uh, to have her return to her place of stay and have her return to testify tomorrow in this courtroom before 9 o'clock. And Madame uh, Ridain, TPO staff, the chamber is grateful of your assistance and once again you are invited to return tomorrow to assist this civil party. And the testimony will commence at 9 o'clock in the morning. Security personnel are instructed to take the two accused, Nuji and Kiss and Paul, back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings tomorrow before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.